Hello, I'm Reggie Young. I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, if you could take a quick minute and explain a little bit about who you are and how you got started. Hey, Reggie. Thank you so much for having me on. Really appreciate it. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, my name is Jeff Lieber. I'm the founder and CEO of Turnkey Product Management. Um, I'm in San Diego, California, and I've been selling on Amazon since 2014. And uh, so I've been in it for uh, seen a lot of changes over the years with Amazon and uh, started with my own brands, not as an agency. Um, and then I ended up exiting my, my brands along the way and then started the agency around 2017. So, yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Sweet. Uh, I didn't know you had multiple exits. Um, how, how was that process for you? Uh, some were really good and some were very, you know, very, uh, underwhelming. Um, so yeah, definitely learned a lot, uh, along, along the way. One was like a business partnership. Um, one that, you know, it just wasn't making sense with that, with that particular business partner and where the business was going after trying it out for, um, I think we almost two years together, we sold over a million dollars of, of the, you know, a pet product that we were doing, but we just weren't exactly aligned, um, in, in some, in some ways. And so, uh, it was kind of one of those situations where either, you know, I tried to, you know, buy him out or he buys me out. And then we just had to find a way to, to walk away. And then it turned into sort of a royalty type, type deal and, you know, led to a little bit of cash, but, uh, it's more of what my dad would call a million dollars of, of, uh, learning experience as opposed to, uh, you know, cash in the bank, but it, it was still learned a lot, learned a lot. Yeah, I would imagine too, like in a lot of these business partnerships, they say it's like kind of like a marriage in a way or like a legitimate relationship because people feel like one person is like more or less or there's a vacation thing. People think, say one thing, do another or vice versa or, or misinterpret. Did you feel like that was part of like a, what happened to you as well? I would say that's a great comparison. I, I would compare it to a marriage. Um, and yeah, it was not, not the most fun, uh, fun marriage, um, at times and, and it was stressful and, you know, you're living and breathing it and phone calls or early mornings, late nights, you know, you're all, you know, it, it just, it, it is very important. Like we, we never had a, a real dating phase before we went into the partnership. It was like, oh, you know, you, you know, we kind of know each other from, you know, being in the same space, like let, let's have like uh, you know, a meeting at, I think it was at a Wendy's was our first meeting, you know, just had a quick, <laughs> yes. quick lunch at a Wendy's and then maybe had one more sort of meal after that, where we just like put, put together the, the terms of the deal and the equity and all that. And then we're like, yeah, sure. This sounds good. You know, it was kind of a shiny object syndrome. I had only been doing it on Amazon for about two or three years at the time. And I was having some, you know, decent success. I was like, yeah, I'll take this on too. Why not? You know, not knowing like, oh, wow, uh, you know, having a business partner is, is really a big, uh, a big commitment. And I, I wish I would have dated or vetted more just to avoid the whole thing, but, um, you know, can't, can't go back in time. Yeah, totally. Well, I guess it sounded like you had a profitable divorce uh, compared to other business partnerships that normally go on. So congrats on getting an exit out of that. Um, yeah, thanks. As we like talk about like people, you know, partnerships, people you work with, I know that you work with Ryan Morgan, who was like pretty big in the Amazon space. Like, I, could, I think two years ago, I think he just basically outgrew the Amazon space and he's, you know, working on a ton of, a ton of different things. If you could maybe like describe maybe a little bit about who he is and how, how I, I know you've had some, um, mm -hmm. some, some deals with, the, with people who've been on short tech, if you could speak to that. Yeah, sure. Um, I think you're talking about Ryan Moran, maybe. I've yeah, tried, sorry, uh, yeah, Ryan Moran. Yeah, Ryan Moran from Capitalism. So he owns Capitalism.com. He started with Freedom Fastlane, and then he ended up buying Capitalism.com because he's very passionate about um, capitalism and what that can do for uh, the good of the world. And um, and so that's kind of his brand now. And so he's got a whole team, and he puts on great like live events and stuff like that um, and does coaching. And, and yeah, he... He started with his own Amazon business, but then he, he outgrew that, like you said, where he's, he's really like just a really smart, uh, marketing, uh, business mind investing. And so he just loves, the, you know, all these, uh, these different aspects of, you know, of life and, uh, investing and, and, but e-commerce and Amazon and Shopify, 
you know, that is still a big part of what he does. And so, um, yeah, him and I actually started at around the same time on Amazon. So I started going to his events and just listening to his podcasts and then getting to know him in person, you know, meeting him a few times and then started, you know, joining his, uh, mastermind and things like that. And then it just kind of naturally developed into a friendship and, um, and then he, he actually became an official advisor to, uh, to turnkey to my agency and, you know, they've, uh, they've been really good to us. And you know, so we, we do a lot of content for his community. Um, and yeah, it's just been a really fruitful, fun relationship that uh, I think we've both gotten a lot, a lot out of it. I've learned a lot from, from him and his team over the years for sure. Yeah, totally. I think I love that whole like networking and partnership and that leading to you know, more sustained business and mentoring and just learning off of one another. Uh, and that brings me to like, I think the importance of like connecting with other people in the space or just learning from people. And it's a kind of a funny story. Uh, I first met you years ago online when I first had started and you had done like an, an inner circle type of um, educational, I think it was like a monthly meetup type of thing at the time. Um, and you had, I decided, hey, like, you know, some of these courses, especially back then, the courses cost like $5,000, $10,000 masterminds. Um, uh -huh. Private coaching wasn't really a thing. And if it was, it was, it was very, very expensive. Um, and I remember coming across some of your early content and thinking, wow, this guy's actually giving a lot of great information and learning a lot here. Um, and he has SOPs. And like people ask me to say like, hey, Reggie, like, can I have some of your SOPs? And, and especially back then, SOPs, nobody was really making SOPs. So I found you in a space years ago. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up connecting at a, um, e-commerce event at, at like the VIP table. And it's like, sat down, it's like, Hey, what are you doing? And like, Oh, I run <laughs> an agency. And it's called turnkey. And I was like, wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> I, it's so just so crazy that like, you know, we fast forward. I think I started 2016, late 2016 uh, when I started and I found some of your content, um, and fast forward now and we're, um, on this podcast, we're even, you know, having discussions about you taking a look at one of the uh, businesses that we're we're looking to acquire for a client of mine. Um, mm -hmm. so it's just crazy how all this comes full circle. Um, and I think like the important importance of like networking in the space. Um, and because I know that you've been in the space for so long, um, and you haven't been, I would say one of the more like, uh, loud on, on heavy marketing. Like, you know, you don't like have this, you don't have this huge YouTube channel, you don't have this, like, this huge presence, but you've had this agency literally for years. And there, there's a lot of Amazon agencies that have come and gone, like a ton of them. So when you told me you're still on the running, you're doing really well, all word of mouth referral, um, and that you've been in it for a long time. And then of course now it exited your own brands, uh, tells me that you, you're an operator and you also have that deep level understanding. So I, I just love like that progression of one from the entrepreneurial side, uh, the progression of like how just things kind of work out when it all in business. Uh, and, and where you're at now. So it's, it's just a, it's just a crazy story. Yeah. It's a small world. It was, it was funny running into you last year at that event. And then, you know, you're just like, you don't know who you're meeting. Cause we, you know, it was all online when you bought our stuff and were in our coaching program years ago, you know, we never really put the face to the name and it's like, oh, oh, we've actually worked together. You paid me money before we, <laughs> we helped you, you know? Yeah. And, uh, it's just, it's so funny, uh, how, how small this community is, you know, especially the Amazon community is. And, uh, yeah, you were actually one of our first, uh, clients when we just had launched that years ago, we're still doing yeah. it today. You know, the coaching component, I mean, we do the done for you as well, but we also do that, you know, the done with you, the coaching and the SOPs. Cause I mean, I, I feel like that's still an untapped niche yeah. that for whatever reason people, you yeah. know. Uh, don't, don't do that for very much. Yeah. So it's been good for a lot of people. Yeah. I took that literally right out of your playbook, right? So I have like the vault, which is like my mini version, I guess, of like mm -hmm. inner circle. Um, and I thought to myself when I was making it, it was like, what, what things that did I pay for that tipped the scale for me to help other people that I found value in? And it was like, oh, SOPs, you know, I, I help my VAs all have like this basic virtual assistant training where they go through a ton of SOPs. And I remember just getting value from yours. Um, and it being a really big tipping point. So I think it's like, you know, SOPs are pretty operational standard across most businesses, but a lot of people like don't have them, don't really don't build them out. Um, but they provide such an asset value. Could you speak to like uh, your thoughts on SOPs? Like what, maybe what would be like some pretty critical SOPs for someone who's getting started on Amazon or in e-commerce? Like which ones would you, like, how would you recommend building one? And which ones would you recommend, um, 
business owners either build or, or, or get made? Yeah, no, it's a great question. I think, um, you know, luckily we've, we've been lucky to, to hire some really good people over the years that are very systems oriented. I'm like pretty systems oriented, but we got, I've, I've hired people that are way better at it than me. And so we've had some people come in that have really helped us to develop like the structure of like, what is a really good SOP that basically you ought to take, take it where someone that, you know, like me or you, that has got tons of experience, like, yeah, we can just go do X, Y, Z strategy and, and do that ourselves. But the key is how can you get that task to be done by someone else on the team and they can do it basically at the same level that you can, right? You want to train someone to do that. And, um, you know, I think one of the best ways is a combination of video and, uh, a written, written SOP, which is, I mean, as simple as a Google document or a word document. Um, and then, you know, a loom video where, where you can literally, you know, that's like the best, I think they have a free plan, but I think it's even like 10 bucks or something a month to like have unlimited videos. And so you can build a whole library of just like, it's as simple as if you're doing something over and over and over, like, let's say how to apply for Amazon prime day or, or lightning deals or something like that. That's like, it needs to be done on a regular basis by a certain deadlines. So if I discover that, and then I just need to simply record a loom video of me doing that task. And then as I do the task, I'm, I'm narrating it just like I'm talking to you right now. I'm like, okay, so step one is I go here and I'm literally just clicking through and it's sharing my screen and I'm saying, click here, click here, you know, look at the deal times, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the final step is this, and then send an email to Jeff to confirm that you, um, you know, set up the deal and then set a reminder to, you know, check in a week, whether the deal was approved or not. And so it start, it can be as simple as starting with the video. Cause I had to do the task anyways. And then if you get good, you can hire, um, team members, you know, it can even be all over the, over the world, um, where they can be, uh, transcribing those things for you or there's even AI you know, technology and softwares out there that can transcribe for you and, and write out the SOP. And then, you know, you might have to reformat it just a little bit. Um, but once you have that, that document, then you share that with the team and you build like an FAQ or a library, um, whether that's in Google drive or an Asana or project management software, whatever works for you, it doesn't really matter what the medium is, but, um, yeah, I think those are the, the tips and it's just like, what are the top two or three things that you're personally spending your time on over and over. And you're like, why am I doing this? Like, this is not that hard of a task. Like I'm sure I could train someone to do this uh, and just start there. Just start with one and see, you know, and then let the team member do it, see how they do. The, the key is to check their work. Don't just give it to them and pray that they did it right. You got to check their work and give them feedback and they'll probably mess it up a time or two. Um, but yeah, that's just, sort of our principles that we do at turnkey. And so then we ended up sharing them with, uh, you know, all of our clients as well. Yeah, that's excellent. I, I love to, how you talk about, you know, the ones, the tasks that you're already doing. So it's like, it doesn't take that much additional effort. It, it's honestly, it feels like it could take a lot to make an SOP, but once you just get all your tabs organized right before you execute on it, you're just hitting record. So you're really just building us kind of like building the plane as you fly it, I guess you could say. Uh, so I love that piece of advice there. Um, see it was i took some notes here oh yeah so with those sops what would you say is like the number the number one sop so of course the ones that you're hitting over and over and over again what would you say are like some pretty critical ones for for amazon sellers or for e-commerce uh, this is ours that they should be like considering like hey like i have no idea what i'm doing i'm all over the place all kinds of things um mm -hmm. well, yeah, what would you recommend is like the top one or two sops that's much yeah, it depends where the the brand is at, how established they are. But I think, you know, e even for some of the biggest brands, uh, I mean, we're literally um, talking with a, you know, we've been helping working with a, a company that, you know, you, you would all know, but I don't have an asked their permission to to share them. But they're like literally uh, doing over a hundred million a year on yes. Amazon, on Shopify. And, you know, so we helped audit their uh, their, their storefront and stuff. And still it, it's as basic as listing optimization. They're missing, yeah. you know, components, you know, just basic listing optimization. So, so what we did is we built like an, an Amazon listing audit checklist that literally is just like, you know, I don't know how many points there are now. Maybe it's like a 25 point checklist. It's like, do you have 
this? Do you have video? Do you have infographics? Do you have lighting style images? Do you have this? And if you just simply run through that, um, and you can train like even a VA that can just audit every single listing, you know, I guarantee you that, um, you know, 99% of brands out there are missing these simple conversion components that, um, can be easily fixed. So that's definitely a big one. Um, you know, like oftentimes they'll, they'll really optimize their best selling product, but they'll neglect all of their other products or their bottom half other products. And there might just be huge opportunities there. If you had an optimized listing, some of those products really could rise to the top, you know, and, um, so that's, that's one of them for sure. Um, what else we've got some good, um, you just like product launch, like when we're launching a new product for a client, uh, there's just so many different steps in the process. You don't have to do every single step, but it gives you a wide array of options of, right. you know, um, what are the different methods and strategies and traffic sources that we can tap into to, uh, to launch a product. So that's definitely a really, a really valuable one that we're constantly refining, um, over time. That's the other thing is these SOPs, they're not stagnant because, you know, they're, they're always evolving over time and, uh, you know, we have to keep them up to date for ourselves. And then, um, so yeah, those are a couple that come to mind uh, yeah. off the top. Yeah. I think, yeah, very, very powerful. Um, and it's pretty crazy, you know, like having helped, you know, a few aggregators here uh, and a ton of other people, like, I feel like a lot of Amazon sellers, regardless of size, suffer from the same problem, which is listing optimization. The Facebook groups hate hearing about it, but they probably don't have an optimized listing. They don't understand it that well. And, or like you said, operating at scale, all these different touch points, because it's a lot, it's a lot to do. It's a lot to uh, consider, especially if you have, a, a, you know, a wider catalog. So, um, with that, you do have a full, uh, full service agency. If you could maybe speak to a little bit about what you guys do and, uh, how you can help. Yeah, sure. So basically, um, depends on where the brand's at. So, you know, if, uh, if a brand is already doing 50 K hundred K a month in sales, um, that's sort of the, the sweet spot where the between there and like a million bucks a month, that's typically where they'll probably more be interested in the full service where we'll do full Amazon channel management, you know, auditing and overhauling all their listings to get them optimized, um, Amazon pay-per-click advertising management um launch strategies you know fully launching um all, all your products that, that as you're coming out with them amazon dsp advertising is really really i think still an untapped opportunity i mean we talk with a lot of brands it, it seems like probably less than half of companies that we talk to have ever ever even tried amazon dsp ads it's a different ad network so that's a big one um so we do all those things and then we can also just carve out just like the advertising done for you piece, if that's all that you need. And then where you started, that's the other, uh, component of our business, which is probably about a third of our businesses is our coaching and SOPs where, you know, if you want to keep the knowledge in house and you have a team that you're a VA or a team of VAs or people, whoever it is, you know, even if you're a big hundred million dollar company, you can still benefit from having an outside set of eyes come in, help you audit what you guys are doing, what are you missing? And, uh, you know, coming up with those customized uh, plans, but you, this is what you're missing. Let's do this over the next 30 days, the next 90 days. And then, you know, sometimes it only lasts a couple months and then they take it and run with it. Sometimes they end up staying for a year. So, um, yeah, that's sort of the, the gamut of, of what we do to help companies to grow on Amazon. Yeah, definitely a, a lot of service offerings too. And, and the, uh, the personal experience. Uh, you have the personal experience having exited multiple companies and then having done this agency for a while and handling huge clients. So, um, definitely an agency that I feel like is not as well known, but probably one of the best out there. Um, and of course we're, like I said, we're, we're looking at your, at you as well for a client that I'm helping with acquisition. So, um, I'm, I'm even moving down the path as well to help us move faster in different areas. Um, and then I guess, yeah, with that, you know, people want to get in touch, uh, how can they reach out to you? Yeah, appreciate it. Um, yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn, Jeff Lieber, um, all the social media channels. I'm on there. Uh, you can also search turnkey product management uh, on all the social channels. Um, and we have a ton of free resources uh, like that product listing audit checklist that I talked about. You can do a free listing audit for you. Um, and uh, if you just want to hop on a call with us to see, you know, what it would look like, um, if it even makes sense to work together. The reason we're not really big and I don't try to get us all 
all everywhere is because it, it's hard to scale an agency really big. I'm not trying to, to sign, you know, 10 yeah. clients a month because, you know, shit would break, right? When that <laughs> yeah. happens. And so I like, you know, I like having happy clients. So, um, so anyways, that, that it's, um, so yeah, we have a ton of free resources or you can get in touch with us over at turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash resources. There's a ton of free valuable resources that you can take it and run with in your business. So. Excellent. All right. Well, Jeff, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Hey, thanks, Reggie. See ya. See you. Take care.